Good evening. I'm Brian Cooper with Coal Creek Media. Here's tonight's news and local events for the Logan County area brought to you by Blankenship Wealth Management. The Magazine Junior Class is hosting a holiday festival this Saturday, December 16th from 2 to 4 p.m. The event promises to be a fun-filled afternoon with activities such as cornhole, baseball throw, tug of war, cakewalk, ugly sweater contest, and many more. Admission to the festival is $5 and concessions will be available. This is a great opportunity to enjoy some holiday cheer while supporting a good cause. Don't miss out on all the festivities. The Blessing Box Ministry at First United Methodist Church in Boonville recently received a significant donation thanks to the South Logan County Farm Bureau food drive. The month-long drive took place in October and all the donations were delivered to the Blessing Box. The director of the Blessing Box, Will Beeson, expressed gratitude for the generous donation, which will help them provide support to those in need. Robert and Carol Lloyd, who participated in the food drive, were pictured alongside Beeson during the donation. The community support for the Blessing Box ministry is a reminder of the power of generosity and compassion in making a positive impact. Coming up next, we have an exciting story about a high school's Christmas concert that left everyone feeling merry and bright. Stay tuned for the heartwarming details after these messages. Are you ready to take control of your financial future? Make your dreams a reality at Blankenship Wealth Management. Our personalized strategies are tailored to your goals and aspirations. Trust in Blankenship Wealth Management for a brighter tomorrow. Blankenship Wealth Management, your path to financial success. Tyler Ford and Boonville, trust and tradition matter. For 27 years, we've been your hometown dealer, making car buying easy and stress-free. Our family tradition is built on trust. And when you choose Tyler Ford, you're choosing generations of satisfied customers with a commitment to excellence and your satisfaction in mind. Tyler Ford offers a range of vehicles to suit your needs. From the latest models to reliable pre-owned options, we're dedicated to finding the perfect fit for you. Visit us in Boonville or call us at 479-675-2313. Let us show you why generations of families choose Tyler Ford because we're more than a dealership. We're part of your community. Tyler Ford, where trust meets tradition. County Island High School hosted its annual band and choir concert this evening. The event was a resounding success, featuring an impressive array of songs from some of the most beloved Christmas movies of all time. Attendees were treated to a night filled with festive cheer and holiday spirit. The school's talented musicians and singers put on a fantastic performance that left everyone feeling merry and bright. It was a truly wonderful way to kick off the holiday season. The Parish Christian Church hosted its weekly senior food program tonight. The program served 204 hot meals to seniors in need within the city limits of Paris. Volunteers at the church worked diligently to prepare chicken enchiladas, salad, and dessert for the seniors. This is a free elderly ministry outreach and is available to anyone 60 years or older in the Paris city limits. If you or a loved one are in need of a hot meal delivered to you, or if you would like to support this ministry, you can reach out to Paris Christian Center on Facebook or by calling 479-847-6004. Thank you to all the volunteers who help make this program possible each week. Coming up next, the latest sports update from the Class 3A state title game. Stay tuned for the details on the Bearcats' thrilling victory over Prescott with exceptional performances and crucial fourth down stops that sealed the deal. And we'll take a look at our weather in Logan County. In the heart of Logan County, where the community savors the taste of Mexico, there's a name you can rely on, Pinjamo Mexican Restaurant. Since 2003, Pinjamo has stood as a culinary cornerstone, the go-to place for celebrating successes and sharing moments with friends. For two decades, Pinjamo has been the cherished destination for celebrating life's most precious moments. Whether it's a graduation, a birthday, 
for a moment you said yes to forever. Tenhamo has been there, woven into the fabric of your life. Join us tonight and savor the authentic flavors of Mexico. Pinjamo Mexican Restaurant, satisfying Logan County's cravings since 2003. Shelter Insurance, we've found that peace of mind offers some real advantages. That's why we work hard to make things easier for you. By sheltering your cars. By sheltering your home. By sheltering your toys. By sheltering your life. Peace of mind. Isn't that the best shelter there is? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Contact Baker's Shelter Insurance in Booneville at 479-675-2782. Here's a look at our weather sponsored by Belt. Here's a look at our weather sponsored by Baker's Shelter Insurance. Tonight, clear skies with a low around 32. For our Tuesday, partly cloudy with a daytime high around 61 and a low around 37. In a thrilling Class 3A state title game at Little Rock's War Memorial Stadium on Saturday afternoon, the Bearcats emerged victorious with a 25-22 triumph over Prescott, securing their fifth title in school history. This victory marked the first championship under the leadership of Coach Doc Crowley, who achieved the feat in just his fourth season at the helm. The Bearcats set the tone early in the game with a crucial, a crucial fourth down stop, foreshadowing their dominance on fourth downs throughout the matchup. They converted three of four attempts themselves and successfully thwarted all three fourth down attempts by Prescott. The game's defining moment occurred with a minute and 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter when Dax Goff managed to move the chains on a fourth and one from the Prescott's 33-yard line. Initially believed to be short, officials after a timeout for an injury determined that Goff had gained enough yardage, sealing the Bearcats' victory. Goff's exceptional performance earned him the MVP title, rushing 31 times for an impressive 245 yards and three touchdowns. His 31-yard touchdown run in the first quarter set the tone for the Bearcats' success. Despite pre-snap penalties plaguing the Bearcats throughout the game, including five in the first half and seven overall, their defense remained si resilient. Excuse me. Jace Washburn's interception at the Bearcats' nine-yard line and key stops by players like Damari Poole and Dylan Todd and Hunter Warren showcased their determination. Rylan Ray also contributed significantly, finishing the game with 95 yards and surpassing the 1,000-yard mark for the season. That concludes the sports tonight. Thank you, for joining to, thank you for joining us tonight. Be sure to check back here in the morning at a.m. for Logan County Breakfast. I'm Brian Cooper with Cold Creek Media, local news by local people. Mm -hmm.